So we are in John Prince Park, and it seems somebody left their cart unattended. Now, if this is your cart, this shit is gonna get towed. So if you are looking at this, please get it, or else it'll be gone. If you like what you see, subscribe to Sunset Aquatics on YouTube. Yo, I got him. Very nice job by Johan. Get him, Grabby. Grab it, just grab them. Oh. That is why they call him Grabby. Grab, that's right. Live action. Get him, Grabby. Got him. So, this is what it looks like. And Grabby gets him. Very nice job by Grabby. Oh, he's in the water. He's in the water. Iguana people. It's another video with the Iguana people, but y'all already knew that. Today the people are doing a little night hunt down in Delray Beach. Seems the client is having a terrible problem with these iguanas. We see Grabby snap them right out of those trees and even meet some very nice people who want to eat it. Now I love me some chicken, but I would never try an iguana. Stay tuned for this adventure. It's sure to be a trip. As you know, we're back at this spot here. This is one of our favorite spots because they seem to be having a lot of problems here. Well, we got to check out this little lake over here. Usually, there's a lot of them here, but we haven't been here in a couple of weeks, so we're going to see exactly what's going on. We shall get some, yo, Huh? We shall get some. Oh, we're going to get some. Ready? Light it up. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. I see them. There's oh. one right there. Oh, yeah. How about that one right there, Johan? Hang on, let's see what else we got up here. What's that? Is that one right there? No. Oh, you got one right got up one there. Got one right up there, you got one there. Oh, grab. Oh, grab it. Bob it. Hold up, grab it. Ready, one, two, three. Got him. Yeah, yeah. He's still up there. He's still up there. Okay. All I see is his tail. You get a better shot over here. Oh, yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Got him. Oh, yeah. He's down. Splash. Splash. There was one right next to him. There you go. Car oh, coming. Car coming, yeah. Missed the car. Yeah. yeah. Right over here, yo, huh? I'm not seeing any, Johan. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, very easy. Let's slide around the back here. Right there. Right there. Where? Where's he at? Right there. Grab it. Yeah, oh, I see him. Let's see, let's see Grabby bring him down. Hold up, Grabby. Where we at? Where we at? Alright, you ready? One, two, three. Got go. him. He woke him up. He woke him up. Rise and shine. It's oatmeal time. Breakfast of pancakes. Here we go. Splash. 
Yeah. That was a big splash, yo, honey. Look He'd be in the zoo with the dolphins look, and shit. Look at him. Look at him. He flipping. He flapping. He, he drowning. He drowning. Yeah. The good thing about this place is, is that the client doesn't mind. Is that one up there grabbing? Yes, it is. It doesn't mind if we yeah. if we shoot them. Head up in there. Is that that one? It looks like it might be. Hold up. Grab The yeah. good thing about this is that the client doesn't matter. You got to cock it. I did. Hold up. <laughs> Get him, grabby. Oh, no. That is one. Oh, yeah. yeah got him. Uh, and he went flying too, Johan. He did. And the good thing, like I said, I was saying earlier. Look, look at him. Look. Right there. Pop right him there. right in the head. Hang on. Oh, he done. Oh, he done. Should we, make the, should we make the recovery, yep, Johan? We should. And, and there nice goes colors up on that. Thing. Yeah, he looks like a leopard, Johan. He does. He does. And Gravity just did a little reach. Yeah, he did a little reach around. Reach around. Mm. Hmm. Hold him up, Gravity. Hang on, let me uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wiggling, <laughs> Johan. Running. Doing a little dance. <laughs> Cool. Very nice. Any others, Johan? Should we go back over there? Yeah, we're gonna go check over there again. Gonna, There's one right there. Yep. Let's go on over this way. What a very epic night, Johan. Well, you know how it is. There might be like a little hole. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I guess we have to go back over there. I guess we're gonna have to go back over there. My goodness. As you can see with these, we ended up taking out the culprit. We grasped it and harnessed it. And what else, Johan? We put it away. Exactly. We gotta just send you home. Just gotta send you home. Son of a bitch, Paul. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Just trying to send them home. Where'd he go? I see. I don't think I want to take that shot. Uh, you see that house over there? Yeah. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to take yeah. that shot. Let's try over here, then. All right. Let me try. Try one more spot over here. Yeah. There's uh, the iguana. I got him right here. Oh, you do? He's just lying there. He is. Kept him there for safekeeping, Johan. Yeah. Okay, let me hold him for you. Seeing anything. Down here a little, bit to the side. A little mouse. Mickey Mouse. 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 All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, Got him. Done. Splash. And there's another one up there. There's one right there, too, Grabby. The one that was next to it. Hey, you know. Very nice. Yeah. So we got, we got visitors. Oh, that's very nice, Johan. I wonder if it'll be nice or not nice. Well, that's one of the problems. How you doing? Good. Good. Huh? You eat them? Yeah. Yeah. No. no, we killed them. No. <laughs> we do it after nothing. Nothing. They're invasive species. We eat them. You want it? No, no, I ain't gonna. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of cultural people do it, you yeah. know, uh, from Venezuela, Mexico, and stuff like that. They eat them. Trinidad, eat Trinidad, yeah, yeah Trinidad, Trinidad is a is a big thing. Yeah, it tastes like chicken. It, it is. It does taste like chicken, uh, but sometimes in certain seasons, if you don't cut it right, mm -hmm. it tastes bad. You have to make sure that you get the the, the glands out of it. That, right. There we go. That is the glands. Yeah, if you don't if you don't get the glands out, you're done. Because in um in, in Trinidad, um, a possum. Yeah. Bro, 
because like he, you and I knew that was about four summers growing up. Yeah, right. Right. Like mode, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people. Like, I know a lot of people. Like my friend Raj, um, he's the one who started me in this in this gig. He's he's from Trinidad. Oh yeah, I know him. I know him. Well, oh, oh, you know Raj? Do you want a man? Well, he yeah he used to well he used to date one of my um, nieces. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, uh, you know he. Yeah, right. He used to he used to he used to teach us how to do this stuff. So after we kind of graduated from him, we're on our own. <laughs> but yeah, I'll tell him you said hello. What's your name? Nyla. Tell him Stephanie's aunt. Stephanie's aunt. I'll tell him. Thank you. So as you can tell, here's a shout out to Raj. Raj, I met some of your friends. Anyways, this is how it goes, guys. You know. Uh, you know, you meet people from all walks of life, you know, and uh, some people eat these things, you know, and uh, when they eat them, they have different recipes for them. So that's the thing, you know, uh, they can be cooked, they can be fried, they can be sauteed, they can be fricasseed, they can be boiled. That's very nice. They can be oven, oven baked. What else? What did Bubba say? You can barbecue it, boil it, brawl it, bake it, saute it. There's um, shrimp kebabs, shrimp creole. Hey, look at Parson Johan just standing right over there. He's look fishing. at him. Look at him. He's fishing. It looks like a scene out of a horror movie. It does. It looks like the ring. <laughs> He's fishing. It's hot. He's fishing catfish. I love me a catfish. Anyways, guys, so we're gonna move on to the next spot. Today, uh, we got a bunch of stuff going. We got Grabby building our bucket planters. So we're gonna get that together. And uh, by the time we get home, it'll be mid afternoon. So we're gonna take you there. We'll see you there. See you at base camp. So guys, as you can tell, Grabby went ahead and he uh, he got the next phase of this bucket system all done. We're gonna stick by and we're gonna show you how this, we're gonna place this on this back wall here and we're gonna show you how this works. Come up a little closer here. Yep. Uh, there we go. Man, looking good, guys. Now we'll get the buckets. Right, that being nice. It's a beautiful Johan. Yep. Look at the buckets. They're coming in. Buckets coming in. And here we go. Man, I'm, excuse my appearance. We're just working in these in these things here. I got to get these guys some water. We're working in this in these conditions. And it's very dusty and dirty. As you can tell from what we did over there, we pulled all of them, that brush. Because we're getting, you know, we bought that, that other piece of property there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a privacy fence, an eight foot fence around the whole place. This way, our animals can live freely and not have to worry about getting out and getting hit or anything. Check this out. So oh, we got Johan. Well, this is one of the little buckets that we started with. Now we got this going on. So, like this here, it goes right in there. So we're gonna probably have to put holes in these yep. in the bottom so they drain out pretty good. But for now, because we're not gonna be doing that part right now. But in this video, we'll probably finish that. We're just placing them in because we're wrapping up the day today. And we got a few things to do. We're not sure, uh, where we're going. We got a call, I guess, uh, today about uh, a problem down in, uh, I guess, Hollywood. There's a, there's a spiny down there that constantly is getting into one of the, the burrowing owl 
uh, I don't know, the burrowing owl uh, environment that they put in. So uh, Kelly from uh, Project Perch called us and asked us if we can go over there and take a look at it. You know, you all know what burrowing owls are. They look like this here. They're cute, ain't they? <laughs> They're very nice, y'all. Yeah. So, like I said, we're on a mission to protect them. So, anyways, look. This is what it looks like here. This is really, really neat. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna hook up we're gonna hook up automatic waterers to this. It's gonna be a little tube that comes down and individually waters all of these. This is gonna be a pretty great thing. I got some potatoes growing in here they haven't they haven't uh come up yet but the onion scapes are doing really well so this is what it looks like you know have to like i said we're gonna have to fill it up we're gonna have to cut some holes in the bottom of this so the waters can drain and then uh this will be uh, i'll run some eventually this whole thing this whole area here is going to be done like this you know this uh approximately how many two five by fours was this, Grabby? Eleven. Eleven two by fours, pressure treated, and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen buckets in this section. So these are eight foot sections, and you get two rows. If you really wanted to, you can put another row out here, but that's too much for what I need. I'm going to go from here with a double row. All the way down to the end there and they'll all be individually watered and they'll be operated on a little pump that comes from either one of these ponds and then when I want it to water it'll be on a timer it'll be on a timer to, to start watering every 12 hours and it'll water for about three hours with the fish pond and thus this will give me partial water treatment changes because when that drains out the other timer goes off to trickle fill. So what do you got there? You got automatic feed, you got automatic disperse. Bingo! <laughs> you know, that's better than anything in the world when you're using fish shit in water. Nothing better than the best nutrients in the world, guys. You get all kinds of growth. This growth here, this here is a jackfruit. Okay, I've been feeding this fish water for now six weeks. This is a six week growth. You're not gonna find that anywhere, guys. You know, this here is a Mary Jane. She's, she's a Mary Jane. She's right? 14 years old, and she just hangs out here like she's three. Amazing. <laughs> so, the fish are doing great. The fish are doing great, and I'll tell you, if you guys can get up and take a look at these guys. If you guys can get up here and check it out, we're going to have all different kinds of koi here, all kinds of stuff, your, you know, your aquatic needs. It's one of the things that we're enjoying in life doing, and we're having a great time doing it. So, got some uh, coconut trees growing here, and the, this is this is amazing, guys. You see, this is how we start them. We start them right off in the water. It's great, Johan. Yep, yeah. start them right off in the water, and they go ahead and they go to root, and then we put them in the ground like that over there. You know. That's it guys, I thank you for coming to this video. If you like what you see, go ahead and put your comments down below. It's, you know, it's always nice to hear from people that, you know, that, you know, that have common interest in this stuff. Um, you, you never know guys, if you, didn't, if you didn't grow your own food, what would happen if the world shut down tomorrow? Would you have your own food? No, you should always, if you've got space in your yard or whatever, you should always grow your own stuff. You know, you should always grow a, a source of food. It's great. You know, pick up a book and learn about it. If you have any questions about aquaponics or, or anything like that, feel free to hit me down below. I don't have a price for that. I don't, I don't charge people to, to, to learn my knowledge. If you want to learn how to do this, hit me down below. I don't have a price tag for that. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly help anybody that wants to know. And if you want to come here and learn, hit my email up, sunsetaquatics13 at AOL.com. I'll gladly teach you. Thanks a lot for coming to the video. Everything, everybody loves me. See you again. Say goodbye, Ollie. Bye.
Thanks for coming to the video, everybody. Now's the time to like, comment, and subscribe to Sunset Aquatics on YouTube.